How does it feel getting back? Sorry, say again? How, how does it feel getting back into the swing of things? It feels great. Uh, cause I've, been, I've been away for like a long, long time, and I get my work work back, just getting my tread back from the teammates, you know. But it feels great to come back, play in the game last week, get the dub. How about the final play, defensive play? Uh, I mean, it feels great. Um, watch a lot of tape on the tackles, and especially my coach, Goosey, telling me what to do and stuff. And you know, that last rub, I did the move he wanted me to do, and, and I finished it, and I got the sack. Josh said that he and uh, I guess Tyler were telling you that they were going to come up and, and rub you after the play. Yeah. How did that, how did that kind of unfold? Um, when they uh, when Kyle Phillips made the touchdown return, uh, we were talking about saying like we need to make a play, and uh, Tyler and Josh saying you gotta make the play. This is your time. And funny thing is, I made the play, so and it felt really good. Did you guys practice that thing before? Have you ever done that before? I did uh, my uh, junior uh, against Texas A&M. Okay. Um, I made a sack. I started doing that. So well, everybody that's knows. Kind of, that's <laughs> kind of your signature thing. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that much, but <laughs> at the time it just felt great. I had to do it. Uh, well, Wood said it was nice to have another veteran back out on the field. Um, what is your guys' relationship? Uh, well, me and him, we've been we were roommates freshman year and uh, when we first came here, and we have a big time relationship. Um, he's helping me with drops and stuff, and I'm helping, helping him with like passwords and stuff. So, me and him have like a good relationship. Well, what was different about that play? Why couldn't you get like that much access before that, and you just got a pretty clean look? Um, it was just tough because they do the air raid and stuff, and the quarterback was throwing quick passes, so. In the last play, he held the ball too long, and I got a free shot, and took my chance. I got it. How hungry are you? You appear out here at practice and in the game, watching you on the on TV. You, you look pretty hungry out there. Cause, Cause it was rough when I was away. I was gone from uh, from April to, to uh, Oklahoma game, and I worked every single day. I worked in the weight room. I worked out to practice. I worked before practice and stuff every single day. Work out three times a week, three times a day, and never gave up. Try to get ready for the third game, well, I mean, the fourth game for Washington State. And so I got the sack. Were you on a play count for that game, or are they limiting how much you can play, or are you? No, that's for the coach. They just tell them I'm going in or out. That's what they tell them. How many plays do you think you were in for that game? Honestly, I do not know. Okay. I just played and I did. <laughs> What was your relationship like with the other linebackers while you were away? Like, what were they saying to you, trying to keep you in the loop or anything? Yeah, just reminding me what to do and stuff. Um, reminding me what we need to do, what type of play we're doing right now and stuff. Because yeah, cause I couldn't practice out there, so I had to make my stuff by myself, working out, putting all the plays and you know, all that. What are your thoughts on Tate's and, Tate and the Arizona offense you guys have? Um, they're a really good offense. Uh, Tate's a really good quarterback. He's a great dual threat quarterback, and then he likes to run the ball. And But he can, throw, he can also throw, so we got to watch out for him. How key is it to containing him, not um, letting him just run? It's really hard, but we got to do our jobs and contain, contain the pocket, um, not let him flush out of the pocket and stuff, just making sure to throw. Would you say you're fully back to the game shape you want to be in, or is that going to take a while to like, be in practice with these guys? No, I'm ready to go. I've been ready since uh, I come when they first practice here. And while I was away, I've been working every single day, so I'm ready to go. How much you weigh? Uh, 253 right now. That's the biggest you've been since you've been here? Yes, sir. Times have you rewatched that uh, that game and all the highlights you had? Um, I mean, I, I watched it Sunday. Uh, as soon as Monday hit, I tried to just switch my mind on the Arizona, just try to get ready for this week because we're trying to go two and zero. So. Do you have a favorite play that you made in that game? It was definitely um, the last touchdown, just because that put the game away and it was just like, the energy I got from my team it was amazing. Can you walk us through the kickoff return and the, the quick slant? Um, on the kick return, I mean, it just, he kicked it in my uh, zone where I was able to return it. And so we just ran our, uh, our return. My guys made some blocks. I tried to make some moves and then score. But you have to read that, right? Because uh, usually you guys, when you catch it there, you go, you just fair catch it. But uh, on this particular one, you did not. Um, Last game, coach gave me a little bit more freedom uh, and let me return a couple of them. And so that time, he told me I was able to return it, and so he was able to hit it on that one. Was that the uh, Oklahoma game or, or this last game? Uh, this last game. Okay. He had more of a green light. Mm -hmm. was, was it because of something you didn't practice during the week? You think that like, you did well returning in practice, so he gave you the green light for the game? Uh, like I'm not sure, actually. You know. I just try to be ready for whenever coach lets me uh, return it. Talk about that slant now. The slant, you took that slant, um, 94? Um, 
I mean, that's just a play that we try to work a lot in practice. And um, we ran it in Oklahoma, and Washington State runs a similar defense, so it worked. You know, yeah, I got, I got one on one coverage, and I was able to beat my man, get across his face. It's a nice stiff arm. And a stiff arm. <laughs> um, I mean, Coach Foster, he was, he, was, uh, he was coaching me up, telling me that when I get down the field, I should uh, use my stiff arm. So I just I just listen to my coaches, you know. They give me advice. I try to take it and use it on the field. Is this kind of your fantasy kind of role when you first got here and now to be like this hybrid running back, wide receiver? Is this kind of what you kind of foresaw yourself to be? I mean, I've always seen myself as a versatile football player. Someone who can be used in the backfield. Uh, at receiver, at kick returns. Like, I, I grew up watching a lot of players like that, uh, Tavon Austin, Anthony Thomas, and I just always try to model my game after that and just get better every day. Did they ever mention uh, Thomas when they're talking to you here, Coach Kelly? Never? No, nope, they don't mention anyone. They just, you know, try to coach me up, tell me to beat me. So, you, know, you guys were watching the replay of the game on the flight home. How much fun was that for you? Because you were involved in like every other highlight. It was super fun, you know, we were all just sitting there uh, watching the game, cheering each other on, just congratulating each other because we know we worked so hard for this moment. What did you think of uh, Dorian's performance in this offensive game? He played really great, you know, I, I was really proud of him because he was getting banged up when we stayed out there, you know, and just was leading our team to victory, so I was really proud of him, I'm really happy for him. Congratulations on being named uh, Special Teams Player of the Week. Talk to us about how that, when you found out you were honored in such a, a, a huge honor, how, how did it make you feel? And it made me feel great, you know. Um, I've been waiting for moments like this, you know. I've just been working, trying my best every day. And uh, it's just a testament to my team and their hard work and my coaches and how well they coached me up all this time. I'm just really happy. What can the team take from this game? What can the team take from this game and build upon it? I think that we can take that if we just continue to fight and continue to execute, we could we could play with anybody in the conference. You know? How do you do that with execution, with the consistency that you need? You guys score on six consecutive drives. How do you kind of? I know that's going to be impossible to keep that up, but how do you kind of keep that momentum going with, with that kind of consistency? I think Coach Kelly does a good job at trying to put us in the best position we possibly succeed. And I think that if everyone just does their job, we can execute and just keep on scoring on every drive. Kyle Phillips also had a special teams touchdown. You talked to him after the game, after that play, or when the special teams play of the week came out or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Um, I was super proud of Kyle, you know. Um, he's kind of like a little brother to me, and so I was just really excited for him and happy for him because I've been knowing him for a while, so it was just awesome to see him shine like that. Is, is returning punts and kickoffs a different skill set? Um, I think I think it is a little different. Um, uh, I try to work on both, you know. But yeah, I, I would say they're a little different. The way the ball travels in the air, and uh, just how you got to hit certain uh, holes and kickoffs.